Hi, I'm Marco with our washers at washmart.com. We have a very unique trailer build that we've done. We spent a lot of time on this guy, uh, but it has a lot of features that have not been done on uh, any units that we have built. So for starters, we have two machines that have tested at 3,600 PSI, eight gallons a minute. They can be Siamese together or used as two individual units. They both have a Kohler CH730 engine that is a 23 and a half horsepower twin cylinder motor. We have two gearboxes and then we have two General Pump TSF 2021s, the eight gallon a minute pump. We have an aluminum frame. We use motor mounts. These are uh, some overbuilt uh, vibration isolators for the machines. And we custom fabricated this railing here to have it go on uh, parallel with the trailer. And it looks like we also have a, a piece right here to help stabilize that was also put in there. We also have a unique little switch here. Let's say your fuel pump uh, goes out for some reason on one of these engines. This is going to be a pump that's connected to the battery and it siphons, it will assist on siphoning fuel from the 16 gallon stainless steel fuel tank. Uh, it's just an added option. We have one battery that powers both engines. We have a six gallon soap tank, a hundred gallon bleach tank, and then we also have two ladder racks, sorry, one ladder rack, two pieces to hold up the ladder. That was actually fabricated by us, welded on. We have the Washmark stainless steel hot box. It's going to have an 11 gallon diesel tank. It's going to have the on and off switch, very simple. The frame is stainless. We also use a high limit switch, so basically the water gets as hot as it can get, and then that is it, or it's off. So you have an on and off. It makes it simple, less moving components that can break. Another thing that we have found is this coil has been able to get eight gallons a minute, 175 degrees on some other manufacturing units, uh, some other manufacturers units that are running eight gallons a minute with their hot water units with the same size burner are getting about 150 to 165. So uh, the, the heat rise on these coils are, uh, have been slightly higher. We have, this is something that y'all definitely want to look at. This is a, a Comet uh, Diaphragm P36, which is going to eventually be the P40 system. Uh, what we have is a metering system that was installed. We have the DN10 metering valves and it's been mounted to this plate, one for the soap, one for the bleach. And then we have a one inch line for the water. The reason why you want a one inch line for the water is because this machine runs at nine and a half gallons a minute. And if you just have a half inch uh, line, when you're rear rinsing, you're gonna cavitate the pump because it's gonna starve for water. And with water, we just meter it with a PVC valve. Water. Uh, is extremely easy to meter with this we found. We put the water filters on upside down because it's easier to service. It doesn't actually make a difference if it's up or down. That's the reason why we have it like this. We also have them backwards so that the particles come in on the outside instead of inside the screen. So if you have algae or something like that in your water tank, you can actually see it. If it's trapped inside the screen, you don't actually see the contaminants that could block your water flow. We have a 200 gallon water tank. And then we have four Titan reels. Uh, these are going to be the stainless steel with the aluminum uh, shell with the stainless manifold. These are going to be the stackable. These are going to be the 4318S's. And that's pretty much it. We're, this one's going to be for the garden hose. This one is going to be for the soft wash system. This one's going to be for one pressure washer. And this one's going to be for the other pressure washer. Put a lot of work into this. But uh, it's, it's done, and if you ever have a question or need to have something custom built by us, contact us. Thank you for watching the video.